Hello guys, welcome back to another Android tutorial. In the last episode, we already learned about how to place a banner ad from AdMob in your Android application. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to place an interstitial ad from AdMob. The banner ad cover only a small portion of your application, but the interstitial ad cover the entire area of the application. So you have to take extra care uh, while placing an interstitial ad. Do not place a large number of interstitial ad in your application that will affect the user experience of your app and uh, it may lead, lead to the uninstall of your app by the user. So do not flood your app with interstitial ad. So now I'm going to show you how to place an interstitial ad in your Android application. The interstitial ad give you more revenue than a simple banner ad. So the first step you have to create a new ad unit in your AdMob dashboard. So open AdMob and go to the add units and create a new add unit. Uh, select interstitial here is the add type. We are going to display text, image and video. And this is the frequency capping, no cap or uh, that means the number of uh, ad interstitial ad uh, displayed per unit time. Uh, you can customize it here uh, uh, if you select this option. Uh, you can customize the number of ad displayed per minute. But here uh, there is no filtering is needed. Now specify the add unit name. I name it as app interstitial. And save it. So like a banner ad, here also uh, we have an add to unit ID. Uh, we have to place this add unit ID uh, in, your, in your Android application. So this is the application ID and here is the add unit ID. Uh, here I am going to use the same project used in the previous episode. So in the previous episode we already placed a simple banner ad at the bottom of activity main.xml. So now I'm going to place an interstitial ad to this Android application. So for that here I'm going to create a new activity. Uh, select an MD activity. I name it as second activity. So now here the activity is created. Now go to activity main.xml, copy this text to view. Now go to the newly created activity. So here the root element is a constrained layout. I change that one into relative layout. Uh, now place the text to view here. So this is the second activity. So now for starting the second activity, I'm going to place a button to the activity main.xml. So here I'm going to place a button. Uh, so here I place a button for starting the second activity. So for this button here I place an onclick method called the start second activity. So now we need to place this method inside a main activity. So create this method in main activity. So here that method is added. So when user click the button, uh, I have to start the second activity. So now here I am going to place an interstitial ad between main activity and the second activity. So when user click the button, first here I am going to display an interstitial ad. Uh, if the user close the ad, I am going to display the second activity. 
So for that, go to main activity. So first here, uh, we have to create some variables for interstitial app. Specify create some variables for interstitial app. Now initialize that variable. So interstitial add equal to new interstitial add and pass the context. Now we need to specify the add unit ID for the interstitial add. You will get the add unit ID from your add mob dashboard. So go to add mob. So here is the interstitial add. So you can copy the add unit ID from here. This is the add unit ID. So for testing purpose, do not use original add unit ID. If you display an actual ad during testing, uh, it is against AdMob policy and that will that will cause your account to be suspended. So do not use original app ad unit ID during testing. So for that here in the official document here uh, you have some test ads. Here is the sample ad unit ID for different ad format. So here is a sample ad unit ID for interstitial ad. So I copy this one. Now specify the add unit ID for the interstitial add. So you can call the method set add unit ID and specify the add unit ID here. So now we can load the interstitial add. So interstitial add and call the method load. Uh, you can call the method uh, load add and here uh, you have to pass an add request as a parameter so new add request dot builder and call the method build on it so now here uh, we create some variables for interstitial add we set the add unit id and we load the add using this method load add now we can show it so when user click the button uh, we have to start the interstitial add so here first we need to check some condition if interstitial add is loaded in that case we can display it so you can call the method show on the interstitial add variable otherwise that means if the add is not ready we can start the second activity so start activity no indent second activity dot class so when user click the button if the ad is ready it will display an interstitial ad so after the ad is closed we have to start the second activity so we have to specify some listeners for the interstitial ad so that is the next step So here we have to specify some listeners for the interstitial add. Set add listener. Here I'm going to override a method called on add closed. So when user close the add, here I'm going to start the second activity. So from here, I'm going to start the second activity. So I copy this statement and place it here. Here it is main activity dot this. Okay. So like a banner ad, the interstitial ad is not automatically loaded. So after display an interstitial ad you have to create the next interstitial ad so here from this method we can load the next interstitial ad so interstitial ad dot and call the method load add new add request new add request builder dot build so now here I am going to test it on an Android virtual device. So specify the tester device, add a tester device. So add a request dot device ID emulator. 
So you have to do the same thing here also. So add a test to device. Add a request dot device ID emulator. Here also for the banner ad, I change this one into emulator. That's it. So now this application contain a banner ad and an interstitial ad. We place the banner ad in activity main.xml and the interstitial ad will display when user click the button for starting the second activity. So now we can test our application. Uh, here the virtual device is ready. And now run the application. Now here the application available on this virtual device. So now here the banner ad is available. Now I am going to start second activity. So when I click the button, it will show an interstitial ad. The interstitial ad cover entire area of your app. So when I close the ad, it will start the second activity. So this is how we display an interstitial ad from AtMob in your Android application. I hope you understand all these concepts. If you have any doubt or suggestions, please mention it in the comment section. If you like this video, please share it. Please subscribe this channel for getting more Android tutorial updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.